Today I'm going to show you how to copy or back up movies, DVDs. Even if they are copyrighted or protected, you can still copy them with this method. First you're going to need to download DVD Shrink, which is freeware. It's easy to find, easy to download it pretty much anywhere. You can go to this link right here or just Google search it and you can get it pretty much anywhere. So just click download and you can do this whole deal, but I already have it so there's no need to do this. You'll, after you download it and install it, you'll open it. And you'll need to put in your movie or DVD that you're wanting to copy. So place it in your DVD drive. The computer will read it. And when the computer recognizes it, recognizes it you'll need to click Open Disk on DVD Shrink and pick the drive. I'm using American Pie just as an example. And it should say whatever your movie is. You'll click OK. Your movie will upload onto DVD Shrink and it'll have the parts of the movie, the menu, the main movie, the extras, and other unreferenced material. You want to try to have these above 80. I found out that it does not really make that much of a difference, but if you really do want it, you can go right here and go to custom ratio and make it however you want it. You're supposed to have it to where there's no red showing, which is most likely all the way to the left, which they already have it default set up. And after this you'll click backup, which is another term for a copy. So you'll click that. And at this point you'll need to have or download DVD Decryptor as seen right here. That's also freeware. You can download it anywhere. I recommend just dvddecryptor.org. You can click download. I already have it, but you can download it. And after you do that and install it, Whenever you click back up, it'll come up, and you'll choose ISO image file and burn with DVD decryptor. And down here, your target image is where you're going to save it on your computer, which I just recommend your user videos. You just leave it in, or once you have this all set the way you want it, you'll click OK. I already it already exists on mine because I have it, but I'll go ahead and override it. You're just going to come up with that. I will begin encoding, which is shrinking the movie from the DVD onto your computer and yes the movie will still be on the DVD but you'll also have it on your computer that way you can after it's done encoding you can go ahead and burn it to the disk and we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish so it's done alright it's almost done encoding and that may take a few minutes for you I paused the recording so it could finish up and now it'll automatically open DVD Decryptor because that's the option that you chose on DVD Shrink. And now you will eject your original DVD, the movie that you wanted to be copied, and replace it with a blank DVD. And I'm doing that right now. And when your computer recognizes the blank DVD, this right here should light up and then you'll pretty much want to have your write speed on max unless you're running a lot of other programs this might slow it down a little bit and you'll select your drive that you want it to be burned to and then you'll click this right here when you're ready and you'll click it and it'll begin to burn I'm not going to burn it because I already have it but it should just go ahead and burn for you and no problem should happen and then once it's done, it'll say operation successful and your movie will eject and, and watch it and enjoy. Thanks for watching my video. I hope I hope you.